Interference in power cables by high-frequency electromagnetic waves can have detrimental effects on the performance of electrical equipment and systems. Equipments like medical devices, data servers or control panels are quite sensitive to high-frequency interference in power cables. So in today's video we will discuss about electromagnetic shielding and the methods to avoid unwanted interference. Electromagnetic shielding refers to the practice of protecting electronic devices, systems, or sensitive equipment from the effects of electromagnetic fields. Electromagnetic fields or EMF are generated by the flow of electric current or by electromagnetic radiation, such as radio waves, microwaves, or even X-rays. Unwanted electromagnetic interference can cause malfunctions, data corruption, or performance degradation in electronic devices. Electromagnetic shielding involves the use of conductive or magnetic materials to create a barrier that prevents the penetration of electromagnetic waves. The shielding material acts as a barrier. Either it will absorb and transmit or it will reflect the electromagnetic energy, thereby reducing or eliminating the interference. Here are some common methods and materials used for electromagnetic shielding. Number 1 is conductive materials. Metals such as copper, aluminium, and steel are commonly used due to their high electrical conductivity. These materials can be formed into shields, enclosures, or conductive coatings that block or divert electromagnetic radiation. Number 2 is Faraday cages. A Faraday cage is an enclosure made of conductive materials that can effectively block electromagnetic fields. The cage acts as a shield by distributing the electromagnetic energy around the outer surface, preventing it from reaching the interior. Number 3 is conductive coatings and paints. These are specialized coatings or paints that contain conductive particles, such as copper or nickel. They can be applied to surfaces to provide a conductive layer and create a shielding effect. Number 4 is shielded cables. Shielded cables have an additional layer of conductive material typically a metal foil or braided wire, surrounding the inner conductors. This shielding layer helps to reduce or eliminate interference from external electromagnetic sources. Number 5 is magnetic shielding. Magnetic shielding is used to block or redirect magnetic fields. It involves the use of materials with high magnetic permeability, such as mu metal or certain ferrite materials, to create a barrier that diverts the magnetic field away from sensitive components. It's important to note that the effectiveness of electromagnetic shielding depends on factors such as the frequency of the electromagnetic waves, the strength of the field, and the design and quality of the shielding materials. Engineering considerations, such as proper grounding and shielding integrity, are also essential for achieving effective electromagnetic shielding. Apart from the above-mentioned method of electromagnetic shielding, the surge protections devices can be deployed to remove the interfering signals. The different types of protection devices are transient voltage surge suppressors, gas discharge tubes or MOV-based surge suppressors. The system is designed with different zones of protection to improve reliability. So, this was a short video on electromagnetic shield. Hope you like this video. Please click on the like button. Give your valuable comments on this video and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.